What's up guys? Uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be doing a brake upgrade on the Civic today. Yeah, brake upgrade. Uh, I'll show you guys right now. We got some slotted rotors and then some street pads. Let me set you guys up really quick. Hardware, yep. Hardware check here. Pads. So, nothing too crazy. Just a slight upgrade because I do feel a uh, brake fade when I'm starting to get into some corners and stuff. First side. So pretty nice. I also want to paint the calipers while I'm at it. We're just going to do just a gloss black just to kind of clean it up. Um, I'll show you before and after. Tell in the last clip, I have a torn, I don't know, piston boot seal, whatever you want to call it, caliber seal on the boot. Um, I don't want to risk it like that. Uh, it looks like it's not leaking right now, but my luck, I will be putting all that shit back together and that fucking caliper will leak. So I'm not even going to risk it. I'm just going to go to AutoZone and look and see if I get some new calipers. I want to get some Honda ones, but I already know that's going to be too expensive right now for what I'm trying to do. So we're gonna run to AutoZone, see if we can get some calipers, slap those guys in. Um, I think they're only like 60 bucks a piece. If they are, I'll pick those guys up. We'll just do both sides, get them everything all fresh and new, get new brake fluid in there too, I might as well. And yeah, 
it'll go from there. I'll be back with you guys. We'll figure something out. Blah! Uh, change of plans. Um, I was able to get the driver's side caliper, which is the one that has the torn boot. Uh, the passenger side, when I went to go pick it up, it was already used in the box. Uh, go figure. That's usually a common thing for when I go to the auto parts store for me. Anyways, uh, so I got the driver's side, I got a one-man bleeder kit, and I got some gloves and the, the caliper itself. I'm gonna get this guy painted, get the passenger side cleaned up, get that guy painted, and then hopefully by then my camera should be charged. I haven't gotten a battery yet. Uh Alright guys, um, I'm a little bit spaced over here, so I'm gonna kind of show you where I'm at. Um, here's the passenger side. Uh, like I said, I got the caliper painted. Here's the bracket with the new pads and the new hardware with the rotor underneath. Uh, on the left side, I already have it pretty much installed because I need to swap the line for the caliper to bleed the caliper. So, here's how it's looking so far. I already got my wrench ready for the line. I just gotta swap that line right over and we can start bleeding. Everything else is just snug right now. Um, so yeah, let me get the other side on because before I start cracking this and bleeding the whole system, I want to get the other side kind of semi-installed like this before I tighten everything down. So let me get you guys going over there. We got it. Alright, so here's my setup. The little bleeder, the one man bleeder. We'll see if it works. Right there. There we go. Pain the dick to kind of get that line on. But what you want to do first is open it to let gravity manually feed the line. And then as soon as I open up, the top cap, it should flood. There it goes. So I'm gonna go pump it again because the reservoir is only halfway full. I'm gonna add some more. I'm pretty much trying to flush a lot of the crap out as well um, because it has a lot of crap in it. So I don't know when the last time this brake fluid has been changed. Did not look too healthy. The guys are on. 
Um, all I need to do is, I just want to clean my coils up a little bit, they're pretty gross. But this is the nasty shit that I pulled out of my brake lines. That shit is gross. Got some nice new shit in. Here's the other side. Oh, nice and good. Reservoir is topped. Um, so yeah. Let me torque down the calipers and the brackets and throw on the wheels and then I'm gonna go return this core and test it out. Probably wash up a little bit first because it is hot and this is my savior right now. So, yes, let's get these guys going. It is already three o'clock. I'm pretty much an hour behind schedule. <sighs> so we gotta rush. All right, let's go.